What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel we have a special guest. My buddy Aaron came up from West Virginia to kind of change my mind, or he's going to attempt to change my mind. Um, I'm a big fan of my still gas blower, and uh, he brought his M18 fuel uh, blower up, and he thinks that uh, it's all that much better. So today we're going to have a little conversation on you know exactly why he thinks the M18 is better and why I think the gas trimmer or the gas blower is better. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So let's get down to the conversation here. Um, Aaron brings some really good points. Uh, we talked before we started rolling on the camera, and he brings some really good points about this M18 blower. Um, I, I, I'm already getting swayed and I, I don't like it, but, <laughs> but, uh, the, the, the gas blower is a blower I've always, uh, gone to because, you know, I'm like, Hey, you can always put fuel in it and it's, it's going to be there for you. You can just, uh, keep putting gas in it and keep using it. But Aaron brought up a great point about, uh, how many properties out there do you know of that take more than a full tank of gas to blow off? And I mean, you're right. There's not there's not a lot of properties where I or even my property I blow a lot off, but I don't have to refill the gas tank every time. I'm refilling it maybe once a month. Yeah. So it's just one of those things. Um, gosh, well, why do you? Well, let, let's just turn it over to Aaron. And why do you like this blower so much? Well, not to steal your terminology exactly. <laughs> All right. But it sums it up with just ease of use. Okay. All right. Um, I didn't have to pull a cord. I didn't have to prime it, choke it, check my fuel. Well, I mean, I have to check the battery, but I mean, you just grab it and take off. That's the main thing. Yeah. So with with like your ease of use term that that you use, right. anybody in my house can pick it up. That's um, true. My kids think it's cool. So like they they're doing all the sidewalk, and we have a big uh, back deck like you do. Yeah. And they blow it off every day. They don't have to come get me for help. I don't have to start it. I've done showed them how to change the battery. They push the button, check yeah. the charge. I've, I, you know, I've trained them that when it goes to one dot, go in the garage and get another battery. Okay. Yeah. So, it, would you say it's even uh, ease of use uh, to Rambo could use it? If he had thumbs. <laughs> if he had thumbs, yeah. he could he could he'll hook it up. For sure. Um, so the dog can't use it, but yeah, I, I definitely agree. All you have to do is pull the trigger. Um, that's definitely uh, a huge selling point. And then when you think about it, like th these gas blowers are nice. Um, they're powerful, but I think this thing has a better uh, has a better CFM rating than the gas blower. So that just blows it all out the window. No pun intended. It kind of blows it out the window because now you have something that can go 100% in less than one second. I've got to go out here and prime this bad boy. I've got to choke it, got to start it up, got to unchoke it, make sure that it's warmed up so that I'm not, you know, going 100% on a cold motor. Um, yeah, it took me a couple minutes to get this bad boy ready to go. Right. So, gosh. So, yeah, it kind of just blows it all out of the water. Um, you know, I, I hate to I hate to see something like this go, but since I already own it, I'm not going to buy another blower. I think. Yeah. I think it's not worth it if you already are in gas. I don't think it's worth it to just like throw this away or sell it. If, what do you mean? Okay, so like if even if you were already in gas, like I have gas weed eaters, gas mowers, all kinds of gas tools. Right. But I also was already invested in Milwaukee batteries. So when I seen this for the price, the tool and the battery was the price of a battery on any given day alone. That's a good so idea. I was like, I needed a blower. I was like, it's worth to try it because the worst case scenario, I wind up with another battery that will fit all of your tools, all of my other stuff. And then I got it home and I, I was mind blown. Um, I have close to the same amount as you do at my place to blow off when I mow or just any given day when we blow the sidewalks off. Right. And I mean, we can do the place four or five times before I change the battery. Right. And so this, this M18 blower is sold with, uh, sold with an array of batteries nowadays. I think you can get a 9.0, uh, 
Aaron bought his when they had the XC 5.0, which um, he, he says uh, gets about 20 minutes of straight blowing. That's a straight 100%, right? Mm -hmm. So a straight 100% for 20 minutes, that's a lot of blowing power to blow anything off. So I, I totally get it. And if you're already invested in the M18 line, this is awesome to be able to do, uh, you know, just swap out a new battery. When old Durbin over here has to go fill up gas, make, I would, sure, make sure I have mixed gas, and I'm like, oh, crap. I would also note I could change the battery faster than you could put fuel in here. For uh, sure. <laughs> All right. Um, because not that I would really think it was practical, but let's say I knew I was going to do a lot. I could put another battery in my pocket. If you had another battery at home already on charge, you knew that you was going to go across the property and do something, you could just throw another battery in your pocket and it's that easy. And I got to walk back to the gas can because I didn't bring my gas I mean, some of this is kind of far-fetched. Right, right. I totally agree with you on that, but um, I think it totally it totally blows this gas thing out of the water. Um, well, we were We were comparing weights and prices and all that stuff. It's like, Honestly, if you're if you're coming down to it, like I always have to quantify things. So the big thing is like, why should I go over to this? Is it all that much better for me to spend the money? Do, can I quantify this? And I think that you know, based on the wieldability and yeah. this the weight of it, I think it's things like seven pounds uh, is what we read. They fa they feel similar. Yeah, they feel very similar. You're not going to really notice a difference. This one's right definitely one. heavier. I not mean, by it, much. It's, yeah, not by much, but it's definitely heavier. I think that. If I was, if I didn't have a blower whatsoever, I would definitely go with this because I am invested in M18 tools. Yeah. Now, Aaron made a really good point: is Dewalt makes pretty much the same blower. If you were invested in in Dewalt batteries already, then get the Dewalt blower. It's it's you know it's it's a no-brainer. Um, I'm partial to Milwaukee. <laughs> yeah, I mean it, red. It's gotta is be better. red. So yeah, red's better all around. Um, I did love his point about ease of use, and anybody can use it except for Rambo. He doesn't have thumbs. But uh, the still blower, I mean, since I already have it, I'm not going to probably just sell it and get an M18. But I totally get the point of it's easier to use. So um, we had some other points. Job site cleanup. So uh, Aaron made a great point about this. If you're a contractor and you're trying to blow off a job site, um, this is awesome for you. Um, you, yeah. don't, you don't need to create fumes. So whether you're maybe you're in a, a, a house that's roughed in and you've just got a frame, framed out house and we've just put the sheeting up, you're not killing other contractors. You can blow around drywall dust and not worry about impregnating the drywall with, with gas fumes and it's smelling like gas for months. Uh, so this is something that can't be used inside. This is 100% something that can be used inside inside of a garage, inside of a job site, inside of a job site trailer. And yeah, I mean, I worked for a contractor one time that required a very thorough cleanup at the end of every day. I think this tool was 160, give or take. I promise you he went through $160 of push brooms a year. Oh yeah. And he paid two guys a wage for an hour to clean up this job site every day at the end of every day when he could have done it with one guy one blower in 10 minutes easily so I, I like that aspect of it that it is it's fast you can run it inside you know yeah I mean I, I think that uh, I think that Aaron definitely swayed me one way or the other I mean when it just comes to ease of use you're right you're totally right by the time I get this thing out primed and started up and warmed up um, I think that I'm Maybe, what, what would I, I don't know how I'd say that. I'm just set in my ways, uh, and then I like the gas blower, and I bought one, so of course I love it, you know? Right. And then you're like researching all the gas blowers. Um, I would go ahead and say that you could use this for a professional application for maybe blowing off, blowing off a mower when you're done mowing a customer's yeah. yard or something like that. Um, and if you needed anything more than what this was capable of, then you probably should have a backpack blower. Or even if what this isn't capable of, same thing. Right. So, you know, if, if you can pretty much get, just completely replace all of these with these. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing that we didn't talk about that I'd like to be my last point on this video is preventative maintenance. This thing has a spark plug. This thing has an air filter. This thing has fuel. Yeah. Um, it has a pull start string that can inevitably break. So 
there are a bunch of things on this this tool that you know might need preventative maintenance or do need preventative maintenance if you're if you do it the right way you got to adjust the carburetor some people are not no good at adjusting carburetor they don't know what they're doing so they have to take it to a shop to get it tuned up every year yeah this never needs tuned up it's an electric motor it's brushless it, it it's all go all the time it doesn't need anything and as long as you take care of it you're not beating it around and killing it it'll last a lifetime yeah and i mean i think it's worth saying that i mentioned before my kids use it i promise you they drop it all the time almost every time they pick it up they're dropping it they're dropping it from you know you know just a couple feet high and it it hasn't seemed to phase it so i i think that's worth mentioning i've had it for like one calendar year i i think yeah in, in that in that and it's in its second summer season of use and i mean it almost gets used every day you know somebody at, at the house is blowing off a sidewalk or a you know the back porch i'm like hey we got company coming over that porch is done that fast yeah and i don't keep it in the garage or the shed i keep it on my back porch which is covered yeah it sits in a corner like a broom would and it's yeah. just it's just part of the decoration now that the, the blower's in the corner and you get yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it gets used that much, and I haven't had any problems at all. Well, heck yeah, that's some good conversation. I think that, you know, definitely if I was going to go buy a blower, I'd, I'd buy an M18. Um, I do like my still stuff. I like my gas-powered stuff, but I think we're getting away from a lot of the gas-powered stuff, just like we're getting away from compressed air and things like that. We're going 100% to, to battery power. So, um Let's go ahead and wrap this video up. Me and Aaron are about to, uh, re we're about to record a review on this M18 blower and uh, just some of the things it's capable for and, and, and using it. So um, stay tuned in the future. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. I'm coming out with videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at noon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, a little conversation about it. Uh, if you've got anything that me and Aaron didn't think about, put it in the comments below. We'll talk about it. And I trust you, Aaron is, uh, is always on the channel too, so he's always in the comments below. Uh, absolutely have a conversation with us um, because we'd like to hear your opinion on it and maybe some things that, that uh, we didn't think about in the video today. So mm -hmm. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope to see you in the upcoming videos. Click subscribe, ring that bell so you're notified the next time we're coming out with a video. And as always, we'll see you guys in the next one. Cool. Is it worth your money? Bam. Yeah. Not like I didn't mean video. to drop that price in there. Ten minutes. I've never been on video. Ten minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude, okay. you did good. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Comp. Mm -hmm. See, if it's like this the whole time, it'd be sweet. It'd be titties. But the minute that cricket fires up, yeah. Go to shop. Yeah, you could do that.